Hi, Anti Society. Welcome back to the Anti Social Planet. Today, we're checking out chapters 26 and 27 of season two of Tower of God. And the last couple of chapters, we focused a lot on Kuhn and him, showing that he's known about Rachel and her lies, deception, is pretty sure that she has something to do with killing Bomb and is now on the warpath as he has decided to just lean in to all of the darker traits that he has. And he's really got to go after her. Like, it's going to be something. I, I honestly don't know what it's gonna be, but it is going to feel heartless. I can I can feel that coming because he has had a long time to think about this and plan for it. We also had some hints about where Shibitsu is at because we had Kun talking to him and how he is still with some of the other people that were on the same floor as Bomb and they've been working on some other stuff while Kun has been with Rachel getting together his own team. We have our other team that Kuhn has put together that is going to enact whatever plan Kuhn has going on. I really don't know what is about to happen. I don't know if we're going to stick with Kuhn and his story or if we're going to go back to Bam and Wangnan for a little bit. Alternate between the two? I don't know because we ended off the previous little arc in the last chapter. So let's just see where we're going to end up because I'm fine either way. As much as I would like to stay with Kuhn and see the revenge plot take place, I also want to know what's going on with Wangnan and Bam. So let's check out chapter 26. Chapter 26. Where are we going with this? Fug. Ooh. Okay, so this is 22nd. I mean, 21st. My gosh, my brain. I don't know where it is today. How to tell if I'm sick. My brain just stops working properly. The 21st floor. So I'm assuming that we're going to be going back to Wangnan and Bam, not only because we're talking about the Fug, but also because they were on the 20th floor and then they switched, whereas Bam is farther. I'm Kuhn is farther ahead. Oh my god. Kuhn is farther ahead. He's on farther floors. So, oh, okay. I hope that that is not what this is going to be the whole time because that'll be so annoying to me and you. Ooh, look at the building with the wings. I love all of the imagery because before we had a lot of stuff that was like underground with the like Effenkel's floor. Whereas with this one, we have lots of stuff happening up in like the air with clouds and stuff. Um, so I like that transition because we're not on the first floor anymore. We're 21st floor so seeing all these images of like being up in the sky is just like cool imagery okay everyone's getting rooms are they gonna have roommates again because that seems like it's gonna be chaotic oh yoon outfit change like all of the characters i mean all of the colors oh my god my brain who's yuna yuna this person What's the relation? I don't trust anybody anymore. So I'm just like, who are you? Who, who's from a great house? There's like her prince, I guess. And I think that's it. I think those are the only two that are actually from great families. Well, I guess prince, maybe he's just like from a family that is relatively wealthy, but that doesn't mean he's necessarily one of the great families. Why do I feel like her saying we've gotten along well is like not entirely true. <laughs> I, I feel like they're, they probably bicker, but I think overall they get along well, but they do have a tendency to get in each other's nerves a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I didn't think he was from one of the great families once I like thought about it. I was like, isn't his family just wealthy? And his dad's like a businessman, but that's not the same as being part of a great family who like works directly with Jihad and stuff. <laughs> yes, Yoon, it was all you. That's the reason why you passed your contribution. You didn't just get possessed and kind of hang out for a while. It really isn't classy or noble of her. <laughs> oh, uh, a fug is here. You don't say. <laughs> I like kind of hearing the rumors though of like what people think of him. <laughs> oh yes, definitely intimidating. Not just a little cinnamon bun trying to be scary. I like how it's like his eyes like bring fear to people. And I'm like, his eyes are actually quite sweet. Uh, you should be careful though. As much as I love Bomb, he is um I don't I don't know. He's a little bit volatile. At the moment still he's kind of settling maybe i think wang nan will be good for him which is an odd sense given what chaotic energy wang nan has but I, I think they'll balance each other out well i mean most of the teammates are nice actually should i call her yihua now because that's we seem to be on a first name basis i also feel like maybe some of her other family will get involved it'll be like kun right we're like i've called him kun like this whole time but now there are other members of the Kuhn family it's a little bit confusing our Kuhn though are they playing a dance game in the back so was that woman one of the um, members of the Yoon family then? Or just like someone who was like checking in on her? Or both? I guess both are possible. Is it Prince who's playing with her? I'm looking at being a little reader though. Where she's just like been lying and having a smile on her face and then he's just like, What happened? <laughs> are they keeping close tabs on him? Fair enough. He is a bit of a 
an outlier, but who's he meeting? Who does he know? I guess maybe like someone from Fug, because we know that sometimes they give missions to people. If the rumors are true, you probably shouldn't mess with them. Like he would know if you're following him, so what's the point? Hey Wangnan. <laughs> he is gentle. I mean, he's also scary sometimes, but generally gentle. <laughs> Oh, is he a good cook? Good for him. I like, yeah, he's a food, but he cooks, so, you know. <laughs> I like the nod, and she's just like, agreed. Seems a little bit intense, but, uh, however you wanna channel that energy, I guess. But, like, if you're looking for someone to, like, make mistakes or do something that you don't agree with, then you're gonna find it, right? It's different between him doing something that is obviously kind of shady and suspicious, and another thing for you to actually be looking for fault. So I feel like she'll find something if she's so determined to find it. Oh, did he get sprayed with water? Darling. I mean, he's not pretending to be a nice guy. Mostly he's pretending to be someone who doesn't want friends and to get along with others. <laughs> Everyone's just like, um, we are stuck in an elevator. Can you please not catch on fire? Thank you. We like the blue. I mean, he definitely knows that she's there. There's no way. <laughs> there's no way he doesn't catch on to that. And there's no way that he doesn't know that there's a tracking device. <laughs> I mean, even like beyond the fact that he has training through being part of Fug, his whole thing is he's really good at like Shinsu and stuff. So like there ain't no way he doesn't sense that she's there in some capacity. He's probably doing something really mundane. Like karaoke? I feel like he's not actually doing karaoke. He's probably just meeting someone there. But <laughs> I can't imagine him doing karaoke because he's bomb <laughs> it just seems so weird but if, hey if he likes karaoke i'm here to support him uh scream isn't good but he seems to be on the move is that who i think it is i don't see red long hair i'm like i, I think i'll recognize you is that what we're doing are we pretending to be violet is that what the long hair is for mm-hmm bomb's not gonna like you impersonating him <gasps> It is who I think it is. I see the eye patch, and she knows who Viola is. Ain't gonna fall for it. Also, she's kind of dangerous in her own right, so. Yeah! <laughs> wow, Ron. Coming back. I was like, who is he gonna meet? But that makes sense that he would be meeting her. That's like where he gets a bunch of his information is from her, so. Oh, there she is. I like her outfit the best. The little tie. <laughs> just throwing insults around, because why not? <laughs> I think she's just leaning into it. She's like, yes, pig, that's what I meant. <laughs> The poor other employee that's just panicking. I feel like she'll be fine, but also Bomb's like en route. Yeah, I'm like, he is ready to take on whoever is here. I don't think he's gonna like you impersonating him. Also awkward to be using someone's identity and then you come face to face with them, especially when they're like, you know, kind of unassuming, which I think would work better for someone who works for Fug is like, you don't want someone who stands out like when you're trying to like navigate and and do different missions and stuff like that like isn't it better to have someone who can like you want to have someone who does look legitimately scary because you need someone who makes an impression but then you also want people who can like get in and out of places without anyone really noticing them and i feel like that's where bomb is especially with the kind of rumors he has going around i'm sure he just has to like say his name and people are like i suddenly have somewhere else to be that is very far away from here probably nothing he probably didn't have to do anything really Except stop that imposter from hurting someone. <laughs> Look how pretty their eyes are, though. Paying attention to to, to story. <laughs> Additional cartoon? <gasps> yes, give me mini cartoon stories. <gasps> I was not ready for there to be a <laughs> little thing at the end. <laughs> I, isn't this part of what she was, like, remembering before when she was like, when I saved my entire team, but I'll take no credit for it. Is that what she was doing in the meantime? <laughs> that seems like you're going to overwork yourself <laughs> if it's just training and sleep. <laughs> like a month later, intensely playing a dance game. <laughs> oh my gosh. True delivery food. Good thing to have. Easy access to transportation. Also good. Air conditioning. Yeah. Second that one too. <laughs> I like who's like dad mode. It's like school district, parks and playgrounds. <laughs> I like they became a team because Bomb paid for a nice house for them. <laughs> oh, look at those little legs not being able to touch the ground. Oh. <gasps> Why you gotta rip my heart out at the end though? I guess we'll just go to the next chapter then. <laughs> I wasn't ready. I liked the cute little cartoons, except that the, the last one wanted to make me cry. Anyway, moving on from my feelings. Chapter 27. When two parts of Bomb's life collide. I think she's the closest thing Bomb has to a friend at the moment. And others? Hello, who are you? I'm suspicious of everyone, so I don't trust a face I don't recognize. Hmm. So is Huavrin a Fug member then? Is that how Bomb had his in? 
This is a cool panel, though. The, like, simplified shading choices. Ooh, this might get dangerous for her. Okay, so she is. Thank you, Magnus. I was assuming from the way that they set it up. Okay, new person is Jinsung. And Bomb speaks. Wow, that rarely happens. I mean, she is spying on you, Bomb, but, like, that's not the point. That switch, though, like, from, like, this to that? Mm, don't trust him. I mean, are we surprised that he's planning with them? Are we? Are we upset about that? We know that he's Fug. Of course he's planning something with them. I mean, you're literally just his teammates because he needed people for one of the tests. And then Wang Nan, like, switched the USBs. <laughs> still queen. <laughs> I mean, there is something better, isn't it? I wasn't sure before. I'm still kind of mad because she attacked Bomb, but I'm warming up. How high up is Bomb in, like, the hierarchy, too? Because I'm just thinking she's, like, going after him, like, yelling at him. Then I'm like, if Bomb is pretty high up in, like, the Fug ranks, maybe don't be aggressive towards him. <laughs> I like how Bob's like, hang on, don't threaten him, but yeah, I agree, the, the perm is... <laughs> Yun, let's take a deep breath, recenter ourselves, think a little bit logically about what we're doing here. You're alone in a building with three Fug members. Maybe think it through a little bit. Just an idea. I like how Bob's like, I don't have time for this. <laughs> it's like when you froze her during the previous test. Bomb's like, efficiency, I got things to do, and you're causing problems. True, we have a high ranker, which I'm not entirely sure what that entails, but I'm sure we'll find out. <laughs> From uh, Jinsung, tad awkward to be like, Hey everybody, here are a couple of other Fug members. Also, I knocked out Yoon. Oh, everyone going after his hair though. <laughs> Hello everyone. Oh, they got apple slices. <laughs> Some watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> I like how I'm a food member, but I'm not a bad guy. <laughs> I feel like if you have to specify that you aren't a bad guy, maybe you're overcompensating like a little bit. Like maybe we're protesting a little bit too much. Just like trembling as she, she cuts up the apples. Miss Sang is just like, I'm here for the food. I had to turn off my game for this. <laughs> oh, so this is a teacher for Bomb. Interesting. I did want to see some of where Bomb has learned a lot of the stuff in the period where we didn't see him. So this is the person. It's weird that they're just like having a normal conversation. <laughs> just like the awkwardness of like, Hi, I heard that you're a member of Hoog. That's something. <laughs> like, are you on Twitter? <laughs> I mean, Twitter can be a hellscape. It's not Reddit, but it can be a lot. I feel like CU is like projecting a little bit there. <laughs> I don't know what his experience is with Twitter, but he might be voicing some of his feelings with that little side comment. <laughs> I don't have Twitter either, so I don't think they could make him do anything. I like it's like, I hope you don't bully him. I'm like, they are all terrified of him <laughs> for the most part. I think they try to be like friendly around him, but I think they're all a little bit on edge when they're around mom. <laughs> yeah, were the apples their housewarming gift? Nice. Food is always a good choice. It's almost as if we shouldn't trust rumors. Maybe. I kind of agree that food can't be trusted. I'm kind of with you on that one. But it's just bomb. I don't know about the other ones, but bomb seems fine. It's true, they've been here a month, right? Like, so you could have just gone somewhere else. She obviously knows some people on the floor. And I'm sure just her being part of the Yun family would mean that she could probably put together a team. Like, people would want to be associated with her just because of that. And probably some people who didn't <laughs> because um, feuds within great families. But I think for the most part, she could probably get people to be on a team with her if she, like, just with her name. Mm-hmm. Sure. That's why. It's a protection thing, obviously. <laughs> That's true, too. Her powers are unwieldy. And maybe part of it is her thinking, like, she went up against Bomb and she, like, had unleashed her powers and he just, like, froze her and walked away. And I don't know if she's ever had someone be able to stop her. I, f I feel like she talked about that, where, like, no one was able to stop her or help her control it. Like, she couldn't control it. So to have someone who could, like, literally stop her in her tracks while she was using her abilities and just walk away. I feel like it's something she's never experienced before, which I think partly adds to her kind of antagonistic feeling towards Bomb. But at the same time, I think she feels like she needs to stick around him because if she loses control, she knows that he can. he's the one who can stop her. Like if anyone can, it's Bomb. And I feel like she feels like she needs to stick around that to be safe to like not actually accidentally barbecue one of her team members like we heard before so i think it's that it's that push and pull of like how she feels about him i don't think it's your fault oh i hate that like saying defective like feeling that there's something inherently broken with you hurts my heart a little bit 
I think that's a big thing too, is that she's in this team of people who know what her abilities are like. Like Wang Nan knows, he's seen them. And they're all kind of aware of it, or some of them have seen like it directly how her abilities work. And they're still here and they're still being nice to her. Like they don't seem to be afraid of her. So I think that's also part of why she wants to stick around, even if she's kind of begrudgingly doing it. I think part of her wants to resist because she's used to being you know, part of the great families and treated in a certain way and to be you know the most powerful and to have that feeling and then now she's more on equal footing with these other people which i feel like she's resistant to because it's not what she's used to or what she thinks she deserves but at the same time i think it's better for her because don't you want to be around people where you feel like you're on equal footing like that's where you get actual healthy friendships and you're able to like actually function as a human is when you find people that you feel like you're on equal terms with. <laughs> Aw, yeah, they're all a little bit off, aren't they? See, that's what I said. I'm like, because do you need, you need VLA. I'm like, that's what I was saying before. Like, I think it's a, that's part of the reason why she wants to stick around him. Aw, I like my VLA. There's something sweet about that. He's very good at copying abilities. <laughs> he just ghosted away. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he would be so weird about people saying nice things about him. I think he would just like, the embarrassment that he would just like fade <laughs> away as quickly as possible. Like he's just like, I'll just go and see him then. I'm sure part of this is trying to get away. Like they're supposed to have an actual meeting, right? Where they can talk. So I'm sure that they're kind of playing it up, being a bit goofy, but in reality, uh, Jin Sung is there to talk to Bomb about something. So isolating them away from everyone else is probably part of the plan. Oh, um, an odd matchup between the two. That's ominous. <laughs> I feel like Yun is like the one who knows Bomb probably the best at this point. Oh, we were talking about Jin Sung. Yeah, he does seem... We saw that switch though before where he had this very intimidating look and then immediately switched into like smiles and, and being very like jovial. Never trust someone who switches that quickly. I feel like Bomb probably knew that to some degree too, where when he was like, let's go to your house, that Bomb was probably like on edge the whole time and he probably left the room because he saw that Jin Sung wasn't going to try and kill his entire team. Oh good, we have a bunch of members of Fook that are unsatisfied with the current setup. That bodes well. <laughs> probably not gonna come back at some point. It says resident of the tower. Bomb is an exception. <laughs> I guess that also makes sense of like why Jihad is like so... It's such like a taboo to have someone outside of the tower join it into going up the tower and like someone like Bob who kind of forced his way in, I'm sure is something that has worried a lot of people who don't want someone to come into the tower and try to kill Jihad, so. Okay, yeah, I mean, that kind of makes sense that they would be Jihad and Great Families because we've already talked about people like living a long time anyway in the tower but then also there's certain contracts and stuff like that and i would not doubt that someone who had a lot of power as part of the great families would not negotiate a contract that makes them immortal of course they would <laughs> Ooh, fill the tower with the blood of the king that is an intense image i also think it's interesting that he has a bomb has a habit of like staring up because we've seen before when he was imprisoned before the only place there was was up that like tiny ring outside of being stuck in this prison so i feel like that's part of it is he has this habit of gazing up because that's all he had for a really long time oh i like how this is like we can fully see both of his eyes and there isn't like a bunch of shadow on him like even his hair is a lighter color when we get someone acknowledging him as bomb right i believe that i believe everything will change change how is the question I like that we have come back to the story with Bomb and specifically getting into like what Fug is because up to this point it has been rumors. It's been these little stories that people have heard from, you know, a person who heard it from someone else who heard it from someone else. And we had some talk of like rumors with people thinking that, you know, VLA was this big scary person and people just kind of believing that behavior and, and who he was. And then like the reality is Bomb, who's like scary, but not like all that big and intimidating when you first look at him. So I like 
think setting up that kind of mini story within this that also mirrors what we've heard of Fook up to this point and now we're going to see actual people besides Bomp who are part of that right someone who is a high ranker you know someone who is more entrenched in the Fug organization than we've seen up to this point and them not being what people thought that they would be um with Jin Sung having a very like jovial persona and I do think it's a persona because we've seen him be scary initially when he first met Yun and then switched right because he wanted something he wanted her to not to answer to answer his questions he wanted to be invited back to the house with the other teammates because he wanted to assess whether or not he was going to eliminate all of them and replace them with a different team so that bomb would have the support that he needed at going up the tower so you know it's it's kind of like he's burying you know the the darker parts of him in order to get people to trust him to open up to him but he does go along with some of those rumors of what the Fuga are a little bit closer than people might think but it was like I was saying before like you don't want someone who obviously stands out you want someone who can blend in who's unassuming who people feel comfortable with and trust really quickly because that's how you maneuver and are able to get what you want so I kind of get him being good at putting on the jovial act but I don't trust him and of course we had Hua Run, um coming back which is always exciting. Kind of the only person that we've seen previously interacting with Bomb now being here again. So I I'm gonna be interested to see what the next couple of chapters are where we're seeing people who know that Violet is Bomb and have known him since before all of the Violet things where he was like kind of a fully formed Fug agent kind of thing going on and seeing him when he was at a very vulnerable point in his life after the betrayal of Rachel and losing all his friends and almost dying and all of the stuff that happened before so seeing people who have seen him previously interacting with him I think will be very different and I feel like he'll be different interacting with them as well because he's not trying to push them away and not have them be part of his life so I think it'll be a bit different I'm kind of hoping for a flashback maybe where we see some more of what it was like before when he was first joining Fug. Maybe we'll get some hints of that. Little things being set up as we continue with Bomb's story and we'll just have to put a pin in what Kun was doing. I'm sure they'll be- we'll come back to it or there'll be some overlap at some point, so I like getting a little bit more backstory on like what Fug really is and what people's perception of it is. You can click this playlist to go and see my previous reactions or you can subscribe so you miss next time I post a Tower of God reaction and I will see you in the next video. Bye.